Let's start with the basic four forces that act on a drone. Here we shall understand these fundamental forces in the context of a fixed wing UAV. This aircraft is seen here with a side view. The four basic forces are lift, which acts upwards, weight, which acts in a downward direction, thrust, which acts forwards, and the drag, which acts against the direction of motion of the aircraft. Lift makes the aircraft rise. Weight is the force exerted by the mass of the aircraft towards the earth. Thrust is a propelling force through a turbofan engine or a propeller engine which makes the aircraft move forward. Drag is the force exerted on the aircraft by air. Here we shall see a top view and a side view of the aircraft. The main body of the aircraft is called the fuselage. These are the wings of the aircraft. The tiny wing-like structures on the rear are the horizontal stabilizers. This tail is the vertical stabilizer. Right here on the wings of the aircraft are called the ailerons. And these on the rear are called the elevators. This flap on the tail is called a rudder. The ailerons cause roll motion, elevators cause pitch motion, and the rudders cause your motion. Let's look at these different motion axes. The rotation with the axis that lies in level and through the length of the plane is called the roll axis. This would feel like shifting weight to the sides if you were in the aircraft. When the aircraft moves with the axis that lies with the width of the aircraft, it is called the pitch motion. This feels like tilting forwards or backwards. And the axis that goes perpendicular to the ground right through the middle of the aircraft is called the yaw axis. Yawing would feel like turning around 360 degrees at the same place. Let's understand what causes lift. This is an airfoil shape used in wings and propellers. This is the shape of the aircraft wings if looked at from the side view. To understand how a humble water drop shape can cause lift, let's learn a little more about the airfoil. The front side is called the leading edge. The rear is called the trailing edge. A straight line drawn from point of the leading edge to the trailing edge is called the chord. And the line that divides the upper surface and the lower surface in two equal halves is called the mean camber line.
This is the way a wing penetrates through the air, causing air current to flow around it. The direction of air over here is from left to right. The air passing from beneath the airfoil travels at a lower speed which in turn causes there to be a higher pressure in the air. This is by Bernoulli's principle. Speed and pressure are inversely proportional. The air above the airfoil shape travels at a higher speed and thus causing lower pressure. This airflow is eventually pushed downwards. This is called downwash. Due to Bernoulli's principle, the air wants to travel from the high pressure area to the low pressure area. This causes lift. Also, Newton's third law of motion comes into picture here where the air pushed downwards exerts an equal and opposite force upwards towards the plane. Both these principles together work to cause the aircraft to rise.